Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Designer Studio episode. I have Andrea joining me, you know him as Josta11. Um, we've got a Spec Ops lineup that he's created that we're going to take a closer look at here. Uh, so where do you want to start with these? I'm going to start with the British. Okay, fair enough. So, Westland Lysander started the war as a reconnaissance aircraft, but the British found out a really cool use for it. So it was used to smuggle supplies and spies mm -hmm. in France. So when they first started, they had the standard RIF camouflage and then they swapped it for a low visibility on the top and blackout underneath. Which is so That's cool. because they used to fly at night. Mm -hmm. So in here we have a box that contains supplies and whatever resources they wanted to bring with them. We have two wonderful RIF pilots and the the cabin actually closes up if if you remove inside the mm -hmm. Lewis gun. Sturdy construction. Uh, it was pretty challenging to build the, um, the wings because in the real thing actually has them attached to the cockpit and it's not really ideal to do that with Lego. Mm -hmm. So uh, I found some technique pieces that actually works with this. So you had to make room for structural support in exactly. the cockpit and then Th build the cockpit There's not a lot of room. Actually, if you want to put the pilot in, you have to take, a, take off the, the wings. Okay. It's not really difficult to do it, but yeah, you gotta do it if you want your pilot to sit correctly in. And yeah, so we have, the, mo the part I most like about this is this kind of slopes here. Mm -hmm. it, it came out really well. It's the, the first thing I look, uh, when I look at blueprints, I, highlights the, I, li I highlight the, the part that are most challenging, mm -hmm. and then I start from that, and then I put it all together. Okay, so, so that angling on the back of the fuse that was, where you started? was a bit tricky, because yeah. it's very sharp on the real thing, and it came out really well. I think I did a good job on this one. I agree, <laughs> I agree. Well, the fact that you can pick it up by the wings, too, that oh, demonstrates yeah, yeah. the, the strict. Very, very sturdy. Yeah, very that's sturdy awesome. Got to be swooshable, right? Yeah, that's the Brickmania way. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Moving on, still British, very iconic vehicle. Not many news that the SIS actually had big Panthers in their lineups. Yeah, this is a Land Rover Series 2. It was used during the Cold War in Desert Warfare. The reason for the color is because they usually attacked at dawn or dusk. when or at dusk, yeah. Mm -hmm. And at that time in the desert, pink pink works really really well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, think about looking off into the sunset or watching the sunrise, exactly. and then suddenly the SAS appears. So out there. the funniest thing would be, oh look, there's a pink car coming at me, and then you're dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Re that cracks me up. That's every exactly time. how they so wanted it. About to build. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't use the classic uh, wedges that we use for Land Rovers because they are not available in pink. So uh, that's a bummer, but the rest, I, the, the, the shapes are correctly uh, correct mm -hmm. rendered and we have all sorts of equipment, uh, compass, two stoners gun that brick arms, brick arms stoner gun that are Pretty rare, I think. Yeah, they're, they're solid. Yeah, smoke dis dischargers and a radi printed radio and the back, of course, mm -hmm. opens. Room for at least four minifigs on these things. And a thing you can do, oh, you're these things those, here, yeah. are used for, if, if you end up in a ditch, mm -hmm. you need to get out. So what you want to do is to take this thing down. Oh, look at that. Since we don't have two by six tiles yeah. in pink. Uh, I think Lego doesn't do that. Uh, so you have- There's your ramp. There's your ramp to go out of the ditches. There's your, there you go. So, uh, of course, suspension. <laughs> mm -hmm. Working suspension. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah, that's I love the printing on the wheels too. You should know that subtle, <laughs> that pink yeah. detail there. <laughs> yeah, gray was popping too much, so I said, slam, mm -hmm. we need to do this some. We need to do something about this. <laughs> awesome minifigs to go with it. Very British, British looking. Mm -hmm. Lando will talk about those you in a bit. Indeed. And then we go to the Italians. Yeah. Oh, so much the things. The man, the torpedo. To do about, I could talk about these hours. Mm -hmm. And it's just a man torpedo. So these guys were strapped on a torpedo with a stick on it and they basically drove through submarine 
defenses in harbors and strapped mines at ships. And sometimes they got home and sometimes they didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Alessandria, Gibraltar, I think Malta as well was hit by the so-called maiale yeah. in Italian. And it's a funny word because maiale means pig. Pig? Yeah, it means pig. So it's the its full its full name is SLC, that means Siluro a lenta corsa, mm -hmm. slow running torpedo. Mm -hmm. And its nickname is Maiale, that means pig. Interesting, yeah. yeah. Very interesting. And I think Lando will have a lot of to talk about because these figs. Yes, right. Well, you know figs. some of the history behind these guys as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they were the first to do to even think something about it. They are very famous in Italy. Mm -hmm. They used to train uh, 10 kilometers from my house on the really? Tuscany coastline. Yeah, yes, they do. We still have their barracks mm -hmm. laying around. Yeah. Wow. So th they were part of the um, uh, special group called Tent Flotilla Mass, MIS. That and its origins are go the way back way back to the MIS 15 that then built during mm -hmm. World War One. They were the naval special forces and then they evolved to this and many other roles and these figures really 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 cool. I, they also have here, I don't know if you can see it, this is the original Panerai watch and we still, uh, uh, they still exist and they pride on having supplied sure. the, their watches to the 10th MIS mm -hmm. during the war. Yeah. 3D printing is amazing, yeah. Fantastic. So this is my lineup for Spec Ops bricks last year, and some of these are still in stock. So if you're interested, just go to BrickMania.com. Yeah, pick them up. Otherwise, like he was saying, those figures are incredible. So let's bring in Landon and hear a little bit more about each one of the figures included with these builds. All right, jumping right into things, let's start with the British minifigure. Um, first, we have this. I really like this uh, this dark blue suit. It looks very. Um, very, uh, what's, what's the word? Very British. Very British. They got a more specific, very smart. Looks very okay. smart, right? Uh, it, it's a, a nice suit and tie is what they're wearing here. Um, you know, so it's a wool suit, dark, uh, dark blue, or dark blue, dark blue, I can't talk. <laughs> um, and there is a bit of a wool texture going on here. Just a subtle, um, we actually added a little bit of like kind of white ink to give it a, a bit of a, a softer look to it, if that makes sense. We have uh, the boots, which, um, Got this interesting, like, um, like, yeah, it's like these these lined boots. So yeah. uh, I'd imagine that be would be uh, pretty warm to fly in. Or I mean, when you're cold up, way in the air, this would be nice to have. Uh, the their flight mask, the oxygen mask, is also on this minifigure, uh, along with uh, kind of wrapping everything up. We have the um, this life vest as well. And that's the minifigure for this. Standard RAF. Yes, exactly. Um, next up, we've got this, this desert uniform here. We have a nice bit of color shifting going on. So this is put together actually by Drew. Uh, and that's been cool having uh, more designers jumping in on this process, um, producing artwork, um, expanding the Brickmania minifigure library and different artwork, artwork assets. Um, did you have any specific requests for these figures when you were designing No, I the didn't. They were just out in the desert for weeks sure. and weeks, so they had bare minimum to carry with them. Right. Everything else was stored in the jeep. They were good to go, fight, and come back to base. Yeah, so very lightweight. Yeah. And th this boonie is awesome as well. Yes. It's very cool. Yeah. Very cool boonie. Yeah. Um, the faces are cool. They're, uh, I think, kind of iconic looking, right? Iconic Icon looking. Icon iconic. Uh, the uniform, I think he's got some sweat going on there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it's under, is it under the armpits oh, as well? Yeah, oh my yeah. goodness, this guy has just been in the desert for a while. Um, <laughs> that's cool to see that. So that's, a, that's some nice... Uh, nice touch, yeah. Nice touch, for sure. Well done, Drew. <laughs> Moving on to the, the divers. What's the specific name for these guys? Do you remember? So the, these are fragments. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. It's all, it's all coming back to me now. It's like, I haven't seen these guys in a long time. They ride a torpedo. They ride a torpedo, right? <laughs> um, so Amanda helped me out and uh, jumped in and made some artwork for these guys. It was nice, uh, again, going back and forth um, with uh, Amanda. To, um, I, was, I was familiar with the Frogman, um, pointing her in the right direction of some of the equipment. Uh, one thing that stood out to me that I think she did a, a good job capturing would be the um, Panerai. Am I saying yeah, that right? Yeah, Panerai watch. Yeah, the Panerai watch. So that was 
um, a legendary diving watch from the day, um, some state-of-the-art uh, technology. Um, I think they also had a compass as well on the other side. Yeah, the and 3D printing is amazing. Yes, and then of course I think that 3D looks printing so real. Yeah. really is what brings it all together. Also on black figures, it's really hard to make details pop, mm -hmm. but you have some color shifting, you have details, you have texture going on. Yeah. yeah so these are my favorite figure yes. ever. Yes, yeah. I, I think uh, the, the she did a great job. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. There was the suit was uh, was was cool. It's uh, a little bit, a bit of a like a baggy kind of rubberized texture to yeah. it. And yeah, to get that to, to read on a minifigure, I think she did a wonderful job. Um, we can take the uh, 3D printing off, and that's just like one piece right there that yeah. works really well. Um, but I love just the uh, just the little like the mask, the face peeking through there too. They had like a leather overall yeah. suit. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Um, and those guys would ride a torpedo yeah. right up to the enemy. Craziness, craziness. Underneath. Unreal. Battleships and strapping bombs at battleship, yeah. What are you guys doing? That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else you want to go over? No, that's it for me. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for watching. That is the episode.